outer fabric for the quilting or quilted fabric, quilt batting, uh, lining, zipper, rubber band for the hem, rib knit for sleeves and collar, and snap fasteners. The pattern I used was an oversized hoodie pattern, which will be available on my blog. Cut out the back pieces on fold, lining and quilted one each, and a piece with the length of the jacket's hem and double the width of the rubber band. You'll need two front pieces in the lining fabric and two in the quilted. Extend one side on one of the quilted pieces for the snap fasteners. For sleeves, you'll need two each of the lining and the quilted. And pockets, you can make whatever size you want. I use 20 by 15 centimeters and you'll need two in the quilted fabric and two in the lining fabric. Zigzag or serge around the lining pieces to keep from fraying and you might have to do this on the quilted pieces depending on the outer fabric on the quilting. Assemble the lining and quilted pieces as two separate jackets. Begin by pinning and sewing the shoulder seams and ironing them flat. Pin and sew the sleeves. Start pinning from the middle to make them even. Pin and sew the sleeves and the side seams shut. And when pinning, pin the sleeve seams flat so that everything lays nicely. Lining to the pockets, right sides in, and sew around three sides. Turn right side out and push out the corners to sharpen them and iron everything flat. stitch the upper edge. Pin and sew to jacket where you want them. Lower edge first right sides together and then flip it over and top stitch the sides down. Pin and sew the hem. Measure the desired length of the rubber band. I found it easier to sew the fabric around the rubber band before attaching it to the jacket and sew the rubber band between the quilted fabric and the lining right sides together. Cut the rib knit for the sleeves to the desired length and width and fold over, sew shut and fold over right side out. Turn the jacket right sides out and turn the quilted sleeves inside out. Attach the rib knit to the right side of the quilted sleeve opening. Fold the lining sleeve opening over to the rib knit so that the right sides are all together. Stretch 
stretch the rib knit and pin all the midpoints together. Sew all three layers with the right sides together and keep pulling the rest of the lining sleeve out from under so you don't sew it in. Turn jacket inside out again and pin in zipper between the two layers making sure the zipper teeth point in so they're on the right side. Fold the zipper at the end so you have some left to sew into the rubber band. Turn right side out and top stitch the zipper down and into the rubber band. jacket inside out again and pin in the rib knit for the collar. It should be a bit shorter than the collar. Stretch it and pin the midpoints like with the sleeves and taper it down at the end so it sinks nicely into the jacket. Sew the snap fastener piece shut at the top on one of the quilted front pieces. Turn the jacket right side out again and fold the lining over the zipper and pin at the folded edge of the quilted fabric snap fastener piece. I cut a small slit into the outer fabric surrounding the rubber band and folded it over the zipper making sure the other side was under the zipper and it would be sewn shut. Top stitch down on the lining as close to the zipper teeth as you can. Measure out where you want your snap fasteners and hammer or sew them into place according to the instructions on the package.
And there you have your very own quilted bomber jacket. <laughs>